Hey, y'all, welcome to another Tarkov video. So, my buddy is uh, having trouble making money, earning money, and he is not the greatest at spending his money. And his favorite gun, or guns, I should say, the series, is the AKs. So, in this video, we're going to go over a very effective but super duper budget AK variant that will allow you to compete with geared players and guns that go anywhere from 2 to 300k and also not break your bank so our goal right now is to make a good gun a, an effective gun um, with good ammo all together under um 60k okay we might we might go a little bit above it if we decide to splurge on a bigger magazine but our goal is to stick under 60k and the gun we're going to use we're going to use the aks 74u now, if you go into presets, you're not going to be able to find this gun. At least at the time of recording, you cannot find this gun in the presets. Okay, I don't know why, but for some reason it's like that. So instead, you're going to look up the AKS-74U, and you can filter by item. And if you go to uh, remove bartering offers, mechanic, for some reason this guy is selling one cheaper. Okay, that, that, that's like one in a million. The chances of that happening um, but normally mechanic sells four of them every uh, three hours for just a little over 14k so we're gonna round down we'll say this is 14k okay I already bought one it's right here my mouse would like to work and they're gonna right click and you're gonna go to edit presets now on the on this gun there is um, like the, the the downside of the AKS 74 is it can't be modded a whole lot but because we're going budget this is the greatest budget weapon for the AK series you could probably get something that's fully automatic something that has the same RPM as other as, as other AKs and does the job just as effective it's just not going to be super top high end okay so um, you have a couple stock options right here this puts a lock on which adds two stocks these stocks are insanely expensive okay we're gonna go I think this is the better stock I think the PT one is the better stock um, we're gonna put that on and we're gonna go to find parts and you're gonna see that um, these stocks are like 12k and the other stock is like 20k Okay, the other one, the other PT3. So obviously you don't want to go for that. Now, if you look at this one, this one puts our vertical recoil down to 99, and this puts our vertical recoil down to 97. Now, the cost of these two stocks are very, like, they're, they're, they're basically the same. So we'll just go with the 97 one, which I already bought. Okay, normally I go to find parts. You see that it's 1.6K. Um, so we're at uh, 14 point, or 15.6, and you can see it's right here. Okay, so we'll put the stock on. Go back to edit presets and we're going to look at uh, pistol grips okay and the r key r rk-3 is the arguably the best pistol grip because it lowers if i'm not mistaken it lowers um or increases ergonomics the higher your ergonomics the longer you can look down the sights um when your ergonomics hits a certain point it basically doesn't drain your 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 uh, stamina anymore so um the rk3 is the best now we're not trying to go for the best we're trying to go for the budget because if you look at the rk3 the rk3 is 8.7k um, it's too much for what it does. So we're looking for something minor. Um, so we left 42 ergo. You can look at this. 47, 50. I'll uh, just ju just to get another reference. Oh come on, game. That's 55 ergo. Okay. So if we could get something that's like 50, uh, that one's 54. I think that's an expensive one. Um, is it this one? This is 51. Let's look at the price of this one. MG 47. 6k too much we'll look at the wooden one let's we'll see what the wooden one is again the wooden one is a 47 it's one point or it's 830 okay now that one's a little cheap so let's let's splurge just a, a smidge try to go for around 2k so we had 47 for the wood one let's look at this one this is 47 so uh us it's 54 yeah, I already been through that one. This is a 47. We want to get a like a, a try to go for like a 50. It's a 47, 47, 50. So the e, uh, EPG AK. Okay, find part. Oh, 4K, too much. All right, let's see if we can find something a little under 50 then. Uh, the AK-12. What's that one do? It's 49. Let's check this one out. Uh, AK-12. Boom. That's it. So the AK-12 regular pistol grip. We'll buy that. That's a 49, I think. And we'll put it on. 
And we'll go to edit presets again and look at the next key part we need. Now, uh, a bunt stock might help on recoil, but we'll just check how much it is. It lowers recoil by 9. I think it also increases, yes. So we'll check out the um, a recoil pad or whatever the fucking thing is called. Uh, recoil pad is 3k. Probably we'll go back to that later. Like it helps a little bit, but it's not necessary. Um, the charging handle I don't think is needed. Yeah, it just increases ergonomics by one. So I thought I might stick in there like one to two k, but we'll double check. Yes, it's three k. You don't need one. Um, we'll check out uh, the dust cover. That's another important part if you don't want to buy a mount for uh, the scope you're going to use. So uh, I believe they're exactly the same. Yes. So essentially what I go for is... Oh, that's right. This one can't have super fancy ones. Um, we'll come back to that. One second. Uh, we need the gas block and we need a grip. So we'll move this for a second. Uh, we have to buy this, the gas tube. Find parts. Tube is 2k. And then we put the tube on, and then we have to uh, essentially put a thing on. I think this is the nice one, which we might end up using because it gives us a mount right here, which allows us to put on... Uh, a decent um, site. So here we'll back up. We'll see how much this is. Uh, XRSU. Uh, fine parts. It's 22k. Okay, that's not happening. Got to put the uh, block back on. Put that little handle. The difference between, so we have 52.96, 53.97, 52, that puts a bunch of mounts, so we can essentially put a bunch of lasers and stuff on it, and we can also put a grip on it. We might end up having to go with that one, because grips are really nice. So let's check out how much this is. 5k, that's what we're going for. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Alright, we're going to back out and put all that stuff on. So we go to edit. And then uh, we want to... Uh, what kind of site can we put on this thing? So the PK-06 is arguably the best site in the game, but... The problem is, is that it costs like, I don't know, last time I checked it was like 20k, so we obviously don't want that. And lasers are, if you're trying to go budget, you don't need a laser. And um, silencers are really nice, and I highly recommend them if you can afford them, but you don't need a silencer. Instead, you can essentially go with one of these, um, oh yeah, that's right, oh yeah, you can only go with some of these. Uh, hang on, uh, this one reduces re recoil a little bit. There it is. That's right. You can only do... Okay, we're going to check out... I believe it's this thing. It is the 6P because it lowers uh, vertical recoil. Yes. 750. Make sure you keep checking at the bottom down here and look at what the total cost for all this is. Um, now, normally I'd recommend um, a uh, 60 rounder. Now, the reason why I recommend a 60 rounder, uh, I'll explain that as we as I put this on, is because 60 rounders. Um, quite often, I'll run into fights where I need more than 30 rounds, or where like I'll fight back to back things, where I'll like fight something and then right after that I find something else and I can't even reload, and I can't r normally pull it off with 30 rounders. Uh, you can still go with 30 rounders because they're cheap. Okay, um, I think this is the basic. No, that one's too white, I think. I think it's this one. Okay, for some reason it's really, really light. There's plum ones. It doesn't matter. We can essentially go to edit later. But um, if you look at the 60 rounders, you will see that the 60 rounders cost 37k. It's way too much. Okay? And if you look at... 
Uh, let's just go with this white one. It doesn't look right, but let's go with it. Um, this one costs 2k, okay? Now, if you can splurge, because this is obviously what you want to go for. You want to go for the for the cheapest one. If you are willing to um, splurge a little bit, the best rig, at least for size and cost, is a micro rig. It costs 10k, and it has a 2x2 two two and two 1x2s, okay? Now, the 60 rounder you saw that was like 30-something k. This 95 rounder... Uh, that's right, to move from owned by traders, is 23. This 95 rider is almost, I think it's like 13, 14k cheaper. Yes, it's much more expensive than the other thing, but you don't have to reload as often. And when you use, uh, and normally the biggest problem, why, why, why I think the biggest reason why it's, it's cheaper is because most rigs don't have 2x2s. A lot of people don't use those rigs that use 1x2s or 3x1s, okay? And because of that, they will drop the 95 round drum. Well, the micro rig has a 2x2, two two. and if you if you um, couple the 2x2s two with a couple 30 rounders, you could have this, the 95 rounder, in your, your gun, and you could put the like one or two 30 rounders inside your 2x2s, two two. and depending on how much um, how many mags you want to bring. In this way, um, you don't have to reload as often, you can have more chain fights, and it doesn't cost as much as a 60 rounder, and it lasts way longer. Um, if you're trying to go budget and we're trying to stay under 60k, we obviously can't use this. But if you if you can go a little higher, then definitely use a drum. But we'll go back and we will go and buy a couple of these mags. So find parts. We want to buy, let's say we want to buy three. Okay, so we back up. And now we need to essentially look at um, a sights. We need sights. And we can also look at one more thing, which is the grip. Okay. Um, that's right, that's right. So the dust cover obviously helps because um, it does increase ergonomics. And I think it lowers recoil too. And it just increases ergonomics a little bit. And sighting range. I don't think the sighting range matters, but an extra 5 ergonomics is nice. Now, 50 is already pretty decent, in my opinion. So, if you want, you can skip on this. Um, I would go for the cheapest one. We can we can check with the cheapest one. There's the AKS-74UB, which is... You have to buy from other people. It's 10k. Okay, AKS-74UB. And we'll look at the just the regular U. There's the BU, yes. Fine parts. Okay. Okay, that's worth it. It's it's 1.2k. We'll buy that. The last thing, um, or to go with that, we need a sight. So the U is on. Just making sure. Yep. And now we need a mount. So there's the B18 mount, and then you need a sight. Now uh, there's a couple sights. Um, the problem is is that because you can't get a big mount with this thing, like this is as big as a mount as you can, you, you can't get the cheap sight, um, the really nice cheap one. So what's going to have to happen is you're going to have to, we're going to have to go through here, and these might change according to price. The PK-06 is obviously the best one. Um, but because it's so much, I don't fully, uh, that was 3.4, I don't fully recommend you buying that. You need to find another sight that you like. Uh, we can go check what the uh, PK one is in a second. Let's put all this stuff on, though. So we go to... 06. Find parts. 16k. That dramatically ups the cost. Um, we can go... Here. Just look at this one quick. I've been through all these, but I can't remember exactly what they're like. Um, all right, we're going to look at this one. That's too much. That's way too much. All right, we'll check this one out. I think I think this is probably the cheapest one. 
Yeah, I think that is the cheapest one. Because if you look, it's just a little red dot. I think you can tweak it too. Um, I think you're going to have to go with this one if you want cheap. Refresh. So, 12k. And it's going to fluctuate. Um, you'll probably get it from anywhere from 12 to 13, or 10 to 12 to 13. Um, we'll put this on. Wait, no we won't. We're going to go to grips. Now, if you're looking, depending on what you're going for, if you want ergo, which I don't think we need any more ergo, um, you would go, I think it's, it's one of these. I think it's, I think it's AFG. I think those are the best ergo ones. We'll check this one too. Yes, it's the SE or the AFG. Wait. Okay, never mind. It's SE5. Yeah. Just double checking. No, it's not. Okay, I didn't know you could have this one on it. That one's the same. Huh. Okay. Um... We can look at the shift and the cobra, but I think they're going to be too much. So the shift, <coughs> excuse me, is like 15k for the grip, so too much. Um, the cobra is 10k. It's a little cheaper. Now, that's if you wanted to go with Urgol. Normally, at this point, you want to lower your recoil a little bit more. The RK2 is the best one for that and it only gives you minus um uh eight nine no eight i think it's like eight what what was it again if i can find it where's rk2 i'm blind there it is yeah it lowers it by uh by seven seven so it's not even that much so you could go with something basic like this uvg tactical to lower it a little bit or you don't even have to go with one period but if it's cheap you might as well you know get a little bit extra recoil if you're struggling on your recoil control. This is 60, I think that's too much. I think that's more like close to like, uh, I think 8,000 rubles or something like that. So go with, I don't know, we'll try the RK1. That's four. Uh, see, I feel like that's just too much. It's pretty good though. Like it's, it's a five reduction, I believe. So the RK2 is seven. I put it under 81. In this little RKO, put it to 84. So it's a 4 reduction. That's not bad. Um, try the 4. 5. 6. Okay, they're not doing anything. Um, 7. 7. I think those are all the same. Yep. Yeah. The mod. Yep, yeah, those are all poop. Could go with this one. That one's pretty decent. We can check the price on that. Oh yeah, no too much. Okay, if you're going to have a pistol crypt, you can just use this thing right here. It's the RK0, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, right? Yes, so we buy that one. We go all the way back. We put all this stuff on. Now, if we were to go to, uh, here, we'll take off the mag. And we're going to add everything up right now. So we're going to go to this. Everything's on. We're going to put this little plum magazine on. Or was this one? Yes. We'll go to find parts. And we'll look at the bottom. And this is owned by traders. We're just buying from traders. If we were to lower it, it'd go up. Or remove the traders thing. Oh, that's because we you have some things you can't buy from traders. Now... Refresh. Yep. See how it's fluctuating? It's, refresh is going to pop up in a second. It's 48. It's going to fluctuate in price. Right now it's at 50k, but um, it's going up. Normally you're going to be able to get this gun for a rate around 48 is when you're normally going to be able to get it. Okay? So just showing you... Oh, and that's not including the mags. So it's... Sorry, it's going to be like 52 because 48 for everything right here and then you have to add two mags which are a little under 2k. It's going to be around 52k for everything here. Now we still haven't bought the ammo. Now, depending on what your game is, so if you don't have EOD, which is where you get the largest, uh, or the second largest container, which would be a three by three, if you just have an alpha, 
um, your alpha will obviously, you, you're going to want to bring some spare ammo. So the ammo I recommend if you're going out and hunting and uh, doing some Tarkov is BT. Now, the reason why I recommend BT is BT is relatively cheap um, for what it does. So we will go to link search on the AK. We go down to ammo. We go down to rounds. Um, the best ammo in the in the game it, right now is a Golnik. Now, if you look, a Golnik is extremely expensive. It's not worth the cost. Don't be using a Golnik unless you really want to. Um, right after that, it's BS. BS is like $100 cheaper than a Golnik, all right? A Golnik is slightly higher pen, slightly lower damage, and BS is slightly higher damage, slightly lower pen. They're both top-tier ammo. BS will rip through a AC4 or AC5 and almost six. A Golnik will rip through everything. Just a, it takes a couple more bullets for you to kill somebody with a, with a Golnik who's not wearing anything versus somebody who's using BS who's not wearing anything, if that makes sense. Now, the step down from that would be BT and BP, okay? BT right now has $300 a bullet, um, and BP is $250 a bullet. Now, this guy's selling it for much cheaper than what um, Prapper sells it for. I don't, can't remember. I think you have to do a quest chain to unlock it with Prapper. Now, just because B BT is like 50 rubles higher, you still should be using BT, because BT will let you pen 4 and close to 5, AC5, without much of a problem. BP, you're going to struggle on AC4, uh, armor class that is. So you want to basically stick with BT, okay? Uh, if we just go right to, um, forget who sells it. You, we're, we'll go in reset. Here, here, here's 150 rounds, but we're going to reset. Here's 450, $300 a bullet right now. So, because you bought 30 rounds, you need one in the chamber, and you need probably like an extra stack back up. You want to buy roughly 151. Now, oh god, that is a lot. Let's say you want 91. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, ammo's expensive. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, I don't, I, yeah, we're not going to be able to get it under 60, but the gun is really cheap for what it does. It's pretty effective. It's cheap. We can go to the shooting range and test it. So for this for this test, I'm going to buy the 151. Okay, offer not found. Hang on. And I'm glad I waited because I got it for 5 rubles cheaper. Um, So we'll go put on a crappy little micro rig. And we will, boom, put a bullet in the chamber, fill up your mags, and uh, normally I'd have my bullets right here. I'd have two stacks, so I'd have like an extra 60 essentially, and we'll go to the shooting range and test the gun out. All right, so this is the gun. You can tweak the sights. I like red. They're just the red dot. That's fine with me. If I can't see, then I obviously switch to that. But I like the red dot. Put it on folding auto. Hold alt. Now at the start, there's a small kick. Uh, it goes up. So if you want, you can aim for the below, and then push right, pull right down on the mouse and uh, you might get lucky and your second or third shot might hit the head. You go a little closer. We're gonna reset that because I aimed a little low because the kick up close isn't too bad. Make sure we're on full auto, aim for the chest and it kicked right up to the head. And you can essentially aim for that spot. Um, the gun is decently smooth. There's a little kick at the start. Most guns have that, especially with this recoil level. You can't really avoid it. But for the cost that we paid for the gun, and then the ammo costing almost as much as the gun, because you want to bring in some spare bullets, you don't want to come in with like just three magazines full, because if you do, you, you uh, could easily burn through that if you're constantly running into scavs or players, and BT is the ammo you want to use. You don't want to use PS. PS is shit. Um, the ammo is worth it, and if you have an alpha container, you can essentially put like an IFAC or an, a gold star. If you're going to use any painkiller, you want to use a gold star. So you have like an IFAC and a gold star, 
and your other two bullets. So essentially how mine would be is picture this is just a a uh, alpha. You would have this, this, and these full. And you would walk into a raid and you could have a backpack. You could have uh, some press armor because it's real easy to repair. You could use a crappy helmet, like a condom one. Uh, use your Comtex so you can hear. I, I recommend a Comtex over a helmet. So if you're going to bring a helmet and not Comtex, you're doing something wrong. Always bring Comtex. Hearing is this game. This game is 80% hearing. And... Uh, where is it? For starter accounts, this is great. Oh, and you should probably have a grenade. I don't know where I put mine there. There. You should probably have a grenade or two. This is super cheap, cheap budget loadout. It does great work. And I I recommend it. I recommend you... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm too. All of this stuff, um, you could probably get for... like Yeah, you could probably get it for really cheap. Almost all of this. I like the Swordens. The Condo Helmet's pretty cheap. The Press Armor's pretty cheap. I think the Press Armor goes in from 20 to 30k. And you can buy one that's really cheap, that's damaged, as long as it's above 40. The right number's above 40. Then you, you, I recommend it because... Um, like the durability is fine. It's, it repairs super duper easily. I don't think I have one that I can show you that's damaged, but this is the best AC, AC3 armor in my opinion. This is like 10k. The grenade's probably like fucking 10k. Scab backpacks, I think like 10k, something like that. And you will kill players with this loadout. You're spending probably 100 to 150k budget loadout to compete with other players. And if you wanted to splurge on something, you can splurge on a Golnik. Or you can splurge on BS, something that can shred through AC 5 and 6. That's the best thing because um, the, like late in the wipe, people are essentially going to be rocking the best ammo anyways, or close to the best ammo. So it doesn't matter exactly what armor you bring. You're essentially bringing this armor to stop pistolings from killing you, to stop noobs from killing you, to stop scavs, shotgun scavs from killing you. Um, not necessarily to fight players. This armor isn't great against fighting players unless the player just is bringing poopy ammo. But this is meant to stop everything else so that you don't have to worry about getting screwed. I cannot tell you how many times this press armor has saved my life. Every time I bring it in, I just for some reason am a shotgun scav attractor. And this press armor saves me every time. And the Swordens are my favorite headset. And you need to be able to hear when they're coming. Um, yeah, that's that's everything. This is the gun I would use, uh, that I'm going to be using, whenever uh, 13, whenever point 13 happens. Um... Because it is extremely cheap, it's going to be cheap at the start of the wipe, and I, uh, I'm going to use it on repeat because it's going to get me the best results for what I put into it because I'm all obviously about making that money. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.